getting a boating license. It's something that we've all thought about doing from the very beginning of SpongeBob. It's one of the first episodes in SpongeBob and one of the main plot points throughout the entire series. But what has he learned from going to boating school all of those years? Well, first we have to understand that failure and what it looks like to him. And in the episode, Mrs. Puff Your Fire, they actually state how many times SpongeBob fails his driving test. They say this. I represent the Boating Teachers Accreditation Bureau. As you know, your teaching certificate is up for renewal. However, we've noticed there have been an unusually large amount of failings from this classroom. That's impossible. In all my years of teaching, only one student has failed my class. Yes, but he's failed 1,258,056 times. 1,258,056 times. Now that number is very big. And he's learned a lot from that failure. But what does that look like? And how much time has it taken for him to fail? Well, we have to first look at where Bikini Bottom is located. It's in the Pacific Ocean, specifically near the Marshall Islands, which the Marshall Islands don't have any sort of boating or driving exam. And so we can't take it from there. The closest place that we can take it from is Hawaii. And in Hawaii, if you fail your driver's test, you have to wait seven days until you can try your next attempt. So if SpongeBob has taken it, 1,258,056 times, you multiply that by seven days, it took 8,806,392 days, you divide that by 365 days a year, 24,127 years. But I know what you're saying, Shane, this is not a driver's test, this is a boater's test. And to that, I say you're absolutely right. So then let's look at Hawaii also has a boater's card and a boater's exam that you have to take. It costs $35 and it said, and you can take it as many times as you want. And it says that it's going to take at least 20 minutes to complete. So if we take 20 minutes, 1,258,056 times, you multiply that by 20 minutes. We're looking at 25 million, over 25 million minutes. You divide that, those minutes by 60. You got that many hours, you divide those hours by 24 hours in a day, and you divide those days by 365 days in a year, you get almost 48 years. So Spongebob has been failing this test for 48 years. And what we also know is that Spongebob has been at Mrs. Puff's school since the very beginning, since it was founded. We also know that he is Mrs. Puff's only student who's never passed a single test, which First of all, Mrs. Puff, absolutely baller as fuck to have one student in 48 years not pass. The best boating school teacher in the in the world. She should be making at least six figures. She should be teaching doctors how to how to do brain surgery if she's this good at teaching. But it also shows just how bad of a student SpongeBob really is. But in that failure and in that time, Mrs. Puff eventually breaks and we see a, a, a moment where she actually gives him an opportunity to pass all he's got to do is write one sentence about what he learns in boating school and this is what happens she says this so all you have to do to earn your extra credit and pass my class and never have to come anywhere near this school again is write a 10 word sentence on what you've learned in boating school so that's all he's got to do right and listen to what he says but i've learned so many things He's learned so many things. And in that amount of time, of course he has, right? Of course he's learned so many things. They scuff around, they fight for a little bit, he ends up writing something down, and then she eventually gets it from him. Hey, SpongeBob, show the teacher what you've written. No! Give it to me! No! Let me see it! What I learned in boating school is... Uh... Okay, okay, he writes down what he's learned in boating school. And to the untrained eye, maybe you think that this is nothing. But we put in the work, we put in the time, we know the context. We can actually decipher what SpongeBob is trying to say when he wrote this down. Because some people might think that this is just a simple picture of a boat. But to him, that is stability. That's 48 years of his life sitting in that boat. That's consistency. And that's a dream that he's followed right that's that's his rock in life and within that this jellyfish represents that failure and as a jellyfish moves with the tide with the flow of things and how they go that's him understanding that his life moves that way as well and letting go of the failure and in that failure finding happiness 
Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want more content like this. I'm going to be doing a video every day. This is day three. So I appreciate everything. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.